Welcome to Aries Love Tarot 444, guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Gang, gang, gang. What's good, Aries? This is going to be a general reading for the Aries Collective. You can have Aries anywhere in your chart. It does not have to be your sun sign for these messages to resonate with you. Male or female, take it as it resonates. There is no gender in tarot. This is a timeless reading. So this can be past, present, or future energy. If this reading does not resonate with you, feel free to check out another reading. If a title jumps out to you, maybe some messages for you there. I am available for personal readings. If you guys would like to book, information on how to do so is in the description box. All right, again, this is general. Take what resonates and leave what does not. Our angel Michael, ancestor of the highest white light, please come down and protect me as I open myself up to channel the energy for the Aries Collective, please and thank you. Please remove anything trying to keep these messages from being received clearly. Thank you in advance. What are the messages for Aries at this time, Spirit, for those that are ready to receive this message? Messages for Aries at this time, for those that are ready to receive this message. Messages for Aries at this time for those that are ready to receive this message, Spirit. Messages for Aries. We have first quarter moon and Pisces. Honor your feelings. All right. You guys could have something going on with a Pisces right now. Spirit is telling you guys to honor your feelings. Whatever you are feeling right now, your feelings are valid. Okay, we have last quarter moon in Sagittarius, practice gratitude, all right? So with practice gratitude here, I feel like whoever I'm picking up on today, you guys are feeling very thankful for something, very thankful for someone in your life. This could be, um, you could be thanking your ancestors, you could be honoring your ancestors in some way, okay? What else do we have for Aries at this time, Spirit, for those that are ready? We have new moon in Taurus. Know your worth. You could be dealing with the Taurus. All right. I feel like this is saying that you guys are feeling thankful that somebody does know your worth. Okay. Because you guys know your worth. You're feeling thankful. You're giving gratitude because somebody does honor your feelings. Somebody does respect you. All right. We have Mad playing in the background by Neo. Okay. So. Like I said, somebody honors your feelings. Somebody um, respects the fact that you guys can feel how you want to feel. Okay, name of the album is Year of the Gentleman. So this person, whether male or female, this person is a gentleman. This person, you know, they understand that you guys, that females process things in different ways. Again, this person knows your worth and this person respects that. Okay. Last quarter more in Capricorn, leave the past behind. For some of you, this person is someone who helped you um, leave the past behind. Or for some of you, we honor your feelings. This person lets you get whatever it is off of your chest. So you guys are able to move on. So you are able to leave the past behind here. All right. This person could be a Capricorn. And we have first quarter moon in Virgo. It's just the situation. This person takes a genuine interest in whatever it is that you guys have been through, whatever it is that you are trying to release. This person does not hold anything against you. For some of you, you may get mad with this person for absolutely no reason. Okay, this person is someone who they understand where you're coming from. All right, so again, I feel like you are practicing gratitude for this person. Thanking God for sending this person into your life. Okay, somebody who actually truly understands you. Okay, the bottom of the deck, we have first quarter moon in Sagittarius. Believe in your good luck. Some of you feel like this person is your good luck charm. You could feel like that with each other. Okay, or some of you, since you've met this person, you feel like your luck has changed. Okay, what else do we have for Aries at this time? For those that are ready to receive this message, Spirit. Messages for Aries.
This person said they can't they can't sleep through the pain when you're mad at them. This person, you guys, um, I feel like you don't go to bed mad here. Okay, you guys don't have a problem talking out your problems here. Whatever issues you guys have, this person doesn't have a problem with it. Okay, ten of wands in reverse. This person don't have a problem with it. They like nothing is too heavy for them. Nothing is too hard for them to handle. Okay. <clears throat> This person they're built for you. I feel whoever this person is, they're designed for you here. Okay, it could be a uh, Aries Leo Sash. What else for Aries? What is this? Oh yeah, King of Swords. Like I said, this person is built for you. All right, this person is someone I feel who also gives you guys great advice. Okay, yeah, Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> I can't make it up. <coughs> this person gives you great advice here. Okay, this person is someone who knows that you are worth investing in no matter what you guys have been through. I feel like this person is able to see through your pain. Okay, we also have um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. All right, this person is able to see through it, which is why this lead the past behind us here. This person is helping you to move past it. Okay. What else for Aries? You see this Popeye, Popeye eats spinach. Like I said, it's nothing to heavy that you've been through or that you're explaining or expressing to this person that they're not able to handle okay what else for aries yeah seven of cups you guys have been through a lot okay you've been through a lot for some of you you could have been with this person for seven years you could have been with this person for seven months okay um for some of you i feel like this person this person likes when you speak your mind, okay? Because this is something that you'll be able to get over even quicker. Is what I'm getting here with the seven of um, seven of cups here, okay? They like it when you speak your mind, so you, that's something that you can go ahead and let go of. All right. You could be seeing seven 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 here, or you could be seeing um, ten ten. I was about to say seven ten for whatever reason. Okay, so let me see what that angel number is. It could be significant here. Say goodbye. Yeah, they're helping you to say goodbye to the past. All right. Angel number 17 is associated with spiritual awakening and enlightenment. So when it comes to careers, it can indicate that you are on the right path. Okay, we're not talking about career path right now. Um, it says 17 remember to be open and receptive and grateful and appreciative of your blessings confirmation Okay, like I said you guys are showing thanks to the universe. Thanks to God or whatever whoever you guys pray to here Okay, you're thankful for this person thanking your ancestors thanking all of them. Okay, all of them have a part in it All right What else for Aries somebody's name could be Chris the last name Brown could be significant here This person is helping you to say goodbye to all the things that are still trying to hold you down. Things that are trying to hold you back, okay? This person lets you get it out. What else for Aries? It's not you, it's me. For some of you, this could be what you told this person. This person understands that. Alright, we assess the situation here. That's too many. But it is the emperor here, Okay. I'm going to take that. This person is your emperor or your empress. Take it as it resonates. Again, male or female does not matter. All right. One more. What else for Aries? Excuse me. What else for Aries? Spirit, one more, please. Yeah, the tower in the reverse. All right. It could be a Scorpio, but this person is keeping you guys from blowing up is what I'm getting. This person is like before you hold everything in or before you explode on me or before you know you um go feel like you're going down a a downward spiral i want you to let it out is what this person is saying here this person is saying i want you to let it out okay to keep that tower from erupting that volcano from erupting is what i'm getting this person wants you to go ahead and, and let it out so you guys can be happy because at some point in time, the sun is in reverse. Some point in time, you guys feel like 
whatever this is it keeps you in darkness okay and they want to get you out of it it's hard but i do it somebody could feel like whatever this is it's hard well, they're doing it, okay? And I got chills. This person is saying that they're not giving up on it. We have trust here. Healing family issues in the reverse. This is why this person is saying that it's hard, but they do it, okay? For some of you, it could be something with your family that you're trying to release here, all right? And this person is, you know, just letting you. They're basically being a soundboard for you, all right? Again, giving you guys good advice here. What else for Aries, Spirit? For those that are ready to receive this message. There's never a right time to say goodbye. Pretty much that's saying to go ahead. Whenever those feelings come up. To go ahead and release them. It's never going to be a perfect time. Okay. So why not go ahead and release them when they're fresh. And need to be released. Okay. What else for Aries spirit. For those that are ready to receive this message. What else for Aries spirit? Yeah, let your friends help you. I'm telling you, this person is a true friend to you as well. All right. I feel like you are best friends with this person, but you guys are also in a relationship here. All right. But it says ask for and accept support from others. So this person is your support system. This person is who you guys go to to vent. Again, this person would rather you do that than for you to hold it in. All right. What else for Aries? Yeah, engagement. For some of you, you're engaged to this person, engaged to be married. This is also just talking about engaged, engaged in conversation. This person wants to hear whatever it is that you're going through, okay? Again, this person says that you're never too much, okay? I got things on my mind, made time for you. I'm never too busy for you. This person is 12, 12 on the time of confirmation. This person is never too busy for you. This person is never too busy to listen to whatever it is that you guys have to say. Whatever it is that you're going through, if you were mine. This person said, if you were mine. So for some of you, like I said, you may be engaged to this person. Or this could be a friendship going to the next level. Whatever it is, this person is letting you know that they will never do anything to hurt you here. Okay? Yeah, love yourself first. Some of you, you had a problem loving yourself. Okay? This person helped you to, um, to respect yourself more. Can't stand being far away. This person don't like to be far away from you. Okay, this could be talking about physical distance. Um, this also could be talking about emotionally and mentally. This person does not like for you to um, to pull away or to shut down. 1313, 13, I just saw. All right. This person wants you guys to remain in the present moment with them. Okay. We have children in the reverse. And give your relationship a chance. So for some of you, you somebody here could be grieving over the loss the loss of a child. If so, my condolences here. Okay. <laughs> Others of you, it's like if you're in that grieving process <clears throat> of losing a child, you could be blaming this person, or you could have blamed this person, even though it wasn't this person's fault, okay? And you guys know that you still could be blaming this person for that happening. Okay, and this person understands is what I'm getting here. But spirit is still saying to give this relationship a chance. So for some of you, um, you're about to have that chance again is what I'm getting. Okay, well, love yourself first and reverse. Some of you, you could be blaming yourself also for something that happened in a situation like that. Okay, some of you, it could have been stress. Some of you, it could have been some kind of addiction. Some of you, it could have been work. It could be a number of things here, and you could have been blaming yourself for it. And this person is letting you know that it wasn't your fault, okay? So either way around it, this person is, like I said, they're your sounding board, okay? They give you great advice with deception in reverse. This person isn't going to lie to you about anything, okay? What else do we have for Aries spirit? For those that are ready, Marcos, somebody's name could be Marcos, Marcus. Marquis. Somebody's last name could be Hernandez. <clears throat> Somebody's 
Somebody's name could be Renata. Bianca or Blanca. <coughs> Somebody could wear a gold watch. Um, also, with this gold watch energy, I'm getting this person knows that your time is precious. Okay? This person treats you that way. Somebody's first or last name could be Herman. We have an Instagram groupie. Okay? So, for some of you, you could be uh, very popular on Instagram. It says, get yours, don't worry about me. Again, that's like that sounding board energy. This person knows that you have some things that you need to get off of your chest and they just let you do it. Okay. Somebody's name could be Paula. The color baby blue could be significant here. Like I said, baby blue. Somebody could have lost a baby boy. Somebody could be about to have a baby boy. Then we got hiding the pregnancy right behind that. Okay. So for some of you, uh, for some of you, when you met this person, you could have been pregnant. You may not have told this person. You may have thought that this person would not want you if you were pregnant with another person's child. Take the situation how it resonates. Okay. But this person let you know that it was okay. All right. This could be why you were blaming yourself for something here. Yeah, this is too intense for me. For some of you, you were thinking too much into the situation because this person accepts you and this child. <clears throat> For those who resonate with that, somebody's name could be Monifa. Somebody could be from Jamaica. Somebody's name could be Jamaica. It could be about to go to Jamaica. I didn't know what love was until I met you. This person came in and showed you guys some real true love here. Okay. We got threesomes here. All right. So I'm not getting like a sexual energy from that. I'm getting like you, this person, and a child. Okay. You're going to be doing a lot of things together. Is what I'm getting from that. All right. Somebody's name could be Hector. Yeah, we got abortion right behind this. I can't make it up. So. For some of you, this is the case. Some of you, this may be why love yourself first is in the reverse and children is in the reverse because you may have felt like this person wouldn't have accepted you and this child. Confirmation. Okay. Affirmation says, I am proud of my accomplishments. All right. So for some of you, like I said, you're going to have a second chance of this coming back around. We have you light up my world. This person, you're this person's everything here. All right, we haven't in trouble with the IRS, okay? And somebody's name could be Eddie. All right, somebody could be going through something with the IRS here. Take it as it resonates. What else do we have for Aries at this time, Spirit, for those that are ready to receive this message? So hard to express this feeling. Some of you, you feel like some things are hard to express to this person, but this person just don't. They don't care. They just want you to get it out. They're like, however you gotta get it out to them, however you want to express it, you get it out that way. They're gonna be there to listen. Okay. What else for Aries at this time, Spirit? For those that are ready to receive this message. We have not today and the golden mirror. Okay, so this is what some of you guys are still releasing here. You're releasing people that you dealt with. I ain't gonna say people, you're releasing, still releasing the feelings and the emotions that you're still holding on to from these past people that were self absorbed. All right, that were love bombing you, that were uh, making you feel like something was one sided. And these people didn't want to address those things with you. Okay. So this person is helping you guys to get over that. What else for Aries? Confirmation. This affirmation says uh, something is selling fast. That's not the affirmation. But it's an ad that says something is selling fast. Okay. So this person scooped you up 
quickly is what I'm getting. Uh, it says, I am thankful for the beautiful life that comes to me. This person um, has given you guys a beautiful life. I feel like a beautiful life is about to be created here with Cupid's arrow. A baby for somebody. 2020 on the timer. A baby is about to be created out of love. Okay, I'm also getting something with the love boat. Somebody could be going on a boat here. <coughs> All right. Somebody could be going on a boat. It says receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, close the issues. So this person is helping you to close some kind of cycle. Okay. Somebody's name could be Faith. The last name Evans could be significant here. Something could be significant with um, the year 2014. What else for Aries? Yeah, we got a camera. Reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, and make memories. This person is helping you to remove those memories, to uh, get them out of your mind, okay? So you guys can stop reminiscing on it. So it won't hold you back from uh, anything in the present moment with this person. Confirmation, one more, please. Yeah, soulmate. We have soulmate come out again. I thought I saw soulmate. It must have saw it in my third eye. Okay, but this is your soulmate. Okay. I ain't even grabbed those cards yet. So that's definitely confirmation. And another confirmation. Okay. I thank the universe for guidance. Yeah, like I said. You're thanking the universe for bringing this person into your life. Bringing this soulmate into your life here. All right. This partnership. This agreement. What else for Aries? For those that are ready to receive this message, Spirit. <clears throat> what else for Aries? What else for Aries? For those that are ready to receive this message, Spirit. Yeah, helping you guys to release heartbreak. Like I said, those emotions and feelings that you still may be holding on to that you're trying to hide, but this person already knows that you're still trying to hide some feelings or something here. Okay, they just want you guys to let it go. <laughs> let it go, let it out. What else for Aries spirit, for those that are ready to receive this message? Yeah, releasing that snake energy. <laughs> Confirmation, okay? Releasing that snake energy here. Releasing people that change with the wind. People that were very shady to you, okay? People that really were enemies that wanted you to be in fear, all right? Even if you were in a relationship with them. What else for Aries? intuition here i feel like who well 20 and i thought I, I can't see what the fuck i thought i saw 2555 okay so something definitely is changing i feel like this with this intuition card this person just knows you okay this person knows you like a book <coughs> this person is very intuitive okay this person knows you in and out is what i'm getting here all right Somebody could have a rose tattoo. Somebody's name could be Rose. Somebody, this person could give you roses like on a daily basis. Okay. Or this person could give you flowers depending on the mood that they know that you're in. Like certain colors. Okay. So this person is very intuitive. This person is some kind of guru here. This person knows about chakras. This person knows about energy. I'm getting like mood flowers. Okay, that may not be a such thing, but like I said, this person gives you flowers every day, depending on what kind of mood that they know you're in. Okay, so this this is really really deep. I never picked that up before. Okay, 
Yeah. Because this person feels like you're still holding on to something that you may regret. But they're, they're letting you know that it's okay. All right. That you could have been dealing with these toxic people. They want you to let it go. Okay. Let me see what's in these cards on this card. <laughs> I can't make it out, but I do see the moon card. Okay, so this person could be a Pisces. This person has very deep emotions for you. What else do we have for Aries at this time, Spirit? The color red is significant here. Somebody could have red nails right now. What else for Aries? Somebody may use lavender a lot. Somebody's name could be lavender. Lavender could be your favorite color. We belong together. This person knows who you are. This person knows that you are their soulmate. Okay. Somebody's name could be Mimi. Mariah. Somebody's name could be Carrie. What else for Aries? I didn't mean it when I said I didn't love you. So, yeah. So, some of you, like I said, this person, like we said from the beginning, this person knows that when you get mad with them, that this person knows it's not something that they did. Okay. We got all in the golden afternoon. April the 1st is here. Inspiration, creative spark, imagination, and conception. Another card talking about conception. So definitely somebody's about to pop up here. Pregnant. Okay. Congratulations in advance. But this person is very inspiring. All right. <laughs> this person is very soft with you. They're very soft spoken, I feel. Okay. So it makes it easier for you to listen to this person or to listen to the advice that they give you. All right. I don't feel like this person raises their voice at you. We have investigate, look closely, ask questions and think before acting. April the 7th is here. Like I said, this person pays a lot of attention to you. Okay. What else for Aries spirit for those that are ready to receive this message? Somebody's name could be Bobby. What else for Aries? We have addiction that fell out. Uh, that's not even in this deck. Okay. So definitely it's like somebody's addicted. Somebody feels like they're addicted to pain or this person just wants you to let it go. Okay. What else for Aries? Somebody could be addicted to pain. Like when you're going through something, you may go get some... Go get a new tattoo. Go get some fresh ink or something like that here. Okay. Somebody may be about to get a new tattoo. What else for Aries? March 23rd is here. It says we're all mad here. Everyone is a little different. This person has figured you out enough to know how you guys process your emotions. How, you're, how you act when you're feeling a certain way. Okay. This person knows a lot about you guys, whether you know it or not. All right. March 23rd is here. Don't know if I said it. What else? <laughs> we have, um, I want to be a queen. This person treats you like a queen here. Somebody could be 33 years old. April the 6th is here. March the 30th is here. Law is not justice. Rules that are not fair. This person knows that whatever it is that you guys went through is not fair, so they want to help you balance those scales out. This person definitely could be a Libra. All right. Bottom of the deck says, it's always tea time. March 26th is here. Gang, gang, gang. Okay. It says eternity, endless moments, and repetition. This person feels like even if you repeat the same thing over and over, it doesn't bother this person because you're still getting it out. Okay. If it's coming out multiple times, it means that the trauma, the hurt, or whatever it is, is very deep. So, you're still processing it somehow. This person understands that. This person never gets tired of that. Okay? <laughs> this I promise you. This person promises to take care of your heart. All right? What do we have to close this reading out for Aries? For those that are ready to receive this message.
What else do we have to close this reading out for Aries? <clears throat> what else do we have to close this reading out for Aries spirit? We got shine for within. This person sees your light. And they want to help you guys to bring it out. Okay. Like I said, this person is very intuitive. This person can read your energy. Okay. This person is a light worker of some sort. Okay. Yeah, we got moon energy here. Like I said, it could be a Pisces. I've seen the moon um, tarot card in this card. All right. It says, surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that a peace of mind is possible. Well, that damn. That's what I said, right? 3111 on the timer. This person calms you when you guys are confused, when you're feeling scared. This person makes you want to just go with the flow. This person reassures you. This person gives you a peace of mind. Well, damn. Come through with confirmation spirit. I like that. Definitely could be a Pisces. Don't have to be. But moon energy could be a Pisces or a Cancer. Yeah, this person helps you go on. This person is helping you go through some kind of transformation here. Okay. Confirmation. I don't know what the fuck that was. But, yeah. What else for Aries to close this reading out? I'm telling you, it says light. This person is of the lights. This person is helping you guys to see the light in a certain situation here. This person is helping you to be, helping your heart to be as light as a feather. What do we have? One more, please, to close this reading out. One more to close this reading out. Got one that flipped over and it says moderation okay so this person feels like you are getting better at whatever this is you guys are starting to feel better okay if these feelings and emotions still come up with the within you they're not coming up as much okay you guys are not having to reminisce on it as much as you used to okay so this person just saying that you guys are healing you are going through this transformation this transformation gracefully is what I'm getting. Yeah, like I said, this person is helping you guys to find balance. Okay, this person definitely could be a Libra. All right. But that is what I'm getting for you guys, Aries. If anything did resonate, please like the video, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll let y'all later. Gang, gang, gang.